Hello my friends, today we are in Photoshop and we're doing a little bit of different kind of editing, more um, artsy, let's say, of this water lily flower. Even if you don't photograph flowers or you don't like this kind of edit, you might still want to stick around and watch this because you might learn some new techniques of selections and color toning and all that good stuff. I will start by duplicating my background layer. I'll do Command J to duplicate. And now the first thing I want to do is to separate my flower from my background so I can blur the background a lot. In order to do that, I'll go here on the left to my quick selection tool and I'll click select subject. Once that is done, I will click on the select and mask. And now with this tool in the middle, the refine tool, I will make my brush just a little bit smaller and then I'll go over all the edges to refine my mask. And in order for you not to sit here and watch me do this, I already created a select a selection. But anyway, after you go through all of these uh, edges and your subject is selected properly, you will go here and you will save it as a new layer with layer mask. And then you click OK. In this case, I'm going to delete this because I made a different selection before. Now that we have our flower um, mask and selected, we can click Command and click on the mask and it makes a selection of the flower and then on my image, I click on my image with the picture or just do command J just to put the flower on a completely different layer and I'll make this not visible over here anymore now. I'll go to my background, command J to duplicate it and with this uh, selected, this layer selected, I'll take my lasso tool and just make a rough selection around my flower. Now we're going to focus on blurring the background. So with this rough selection, we'll just go sh uh, shift to delete and I will fill this with content aware and click OK. And Photoshop will do its best to remove the flower and fill it with whatever it's surrounded. All right, you can't see much happening here because I have this uh, selection flower selected, but if I deselect that, this is what our background looks like now. Command D to deselect. And now we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll do a really big blur on this image, almost 500, like 4, 435, let's say. Let's go with this. And I'll say OK. Now I will make my flower selection visible. And now I want to apply, I want to shift the colors. I will start by doing a color lookup and I will choose to strip look. And I like it. Now I will, let's see, I'll do, I'll do a stamp layer for that. You do command option shift E. And with this layer selected, I will go to camera raw filter to make a few a few changes. I feel like it's and I was like too bright, so I'm darkening things a little bit. I will maybe increase a little bit of the contrast, take down the highlights a little bit, maybe increase the whites, decrease the blacks, just some basic editing until it looks the way I like it. Add a little bit of texture and clarity and say OK. By the way, this is a water lily flower I took at the Chicago Botanical Garden. Now let's see, do we, what do we want to do? Let's do a um, color balance. And I'm going to add some blue, some cyans and some blues. I want to get that blue a little bit deeper. Let's see. Maybe like that. I will uh, add that in the mid-tones as well, a bit of cyan, a little bit of blue, and even in the highlights. And I know the flower looks horrible, but that's okay. Because now we have this mask over here, and I do have my mask over here, and I will just, by clicking Option, I will drag it into my mask. 
And now I'm going to invert it by doing Command I. And now we're applying all that blue just to the background. If I want to change the color of the flower, I can also add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And let's see, I will copy the mask again, hold Option, drag it into my new mask. And this time I will invert it again, Command I, and now just my flower will be affected. So let's see, if I move the hue, I can change the flower to whatever I want. I can also increase or decrease the saturation, the lightness, and so on. For this image, let's make it, I kind of like this like orangey tone. So I will go with that. What else? Well, I kind of like it just like that. Maybe my shadows are too dark. Let's do, let's lift up the shadows a little bit. I'll do a curve and we'll just lift up the shadows a little bit and then give it a little bit of contrast. Just like that. And I think that's maybe better. Let's see. That's before and after. I don't know. I kind of like it before. I'm going to delete this curve tone. So let's see. We started with this flower and now we ended up with this. Let's do that before and after. Of course, the flower looks completely unrealistic. It's just for fun. And I do this a lot with flower images. It's just fun to kind of do something different that you don't see every day. I hope you learned something new. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.